I just finished Beachbody's newest home fitness program called Sure Thing, and I am here with you today to share all the deets about this program. What's up? I'm Crystal, and here on my channel, I make my way through various home fitness programs and share everything with you. I share for information, inspiration, motivation, and entertainment. So I went into this program a little more excited than usual because it was the big launch period I was taking on the program as it was launching. I haven't taken on a program at the time it was launched in a really long time. And so as excited as I always am to get started on these new home fitness programs, it definitely added an extra element of excitement for me because there was a lot of people that were doing the program at the same time as I was. And it was just very exciting. There was a lot of hype around it. Sure Thing is an intermediate eight week functional strength training program. The equipment you need for this program are dumbbells, light, medium, and heavy, strength slides. I actually got a challenge pack for the program this time. So I got strength slides with the challenge pack. I don't always get a challenge pack, but this time I did. If you want to see what was all in my challenge pack, I made a video on that. You can check that out. I'll link it below. Also in this program, you need a body membership or formerly known, still known, they're transitioning as Beachbody On Demand membership. Depending on when you are watching this video, you may also have to purchase early access to the program. Eventually, the program will be released into the Beachbody On Demand library for everyone that has a Beachbody On Demand membership, but I had to purchase early access, so you have to do that for a certain amount of time when the program's first launch until they then release it into the Beachbody On Demand library. As far as the layout of this program, Megan is using her own proven style of training called type training and there are endurance weeks there are power weeks there are functional recovery weeks i have done videos on each of those individual styles so again if you want to learn more about what goes into each of those weeks you can check out my videos for those weeks i will link that below or just check out my sure thing playlist that has everything in it this program has a lot of different types of training not only from week to week but also from day to day and it's a very functional way to strength train these strength slides add an element of control and just cause your muscles to work in a very different way the strength slides for me were probably one of my favorite things about the program i always love working with strength slides probably because I don't work with them a lot and I do like that it's engaging muscles in a different way. However, some of the more complicated strength slide moves, you could lose your footing and lose your slide and at times that could be kind of frustrating. There are cardio workouts in the mix as well and they aren't your insanity, like just beat your body up, like I'm going to just go crazy type of cardio workouts, but they are pretty effective. Megan admits in the program that she's not really a huge fan of cardio and this sentiment comes through in these cardio workouts because there's not really long intervals which makes the exercises feel much more doable. There's adequate recovery time. There's a lot of working the legs and large muscle groups to get your heart rate up that way as opposed to like jumping, jumping and there's a lot of level changes to help get your heart rate up, getting your hands above your heart. The cardio workouts I think are very effective, much more enjoyable than the high impact cardio workouts, so I really did like those. It's just a gentler approach to my body and I appreciate that. And the non-cardio workouts also get your heart rate up because you're just moving really fast through all the exercises. Again, she does a lot of exercise standing up, exercise laying down, exercise standing up, so you're getting up and down a lot, you're moving fast, and that does help to keep your heart rate up as you're going through those non-cardio workouts as well. There's also recovery and mobility blocks in this program. There is unilateral training where you're just working one sign at a time, which can also be very important. And there is a little bit of work on stabilizing and balance. As I said, it's an overall functional strength training program. The idea is training for life. Because the formats of this workout were constantly changing, it felt a little hard for me to settle into this program. It was hard to predict what was coming at the same time, the constant changing does help you from getting bored. So during the power weeks, there were a couple workouts that were specifically targeted to like upper body and lower body. But outside of that, it really felt like every single day was a full body workout. And that got to be a little bit much for me at times. I remember one week in particular, a power week, we had a workout one day where we did a lot of sumo squats and I was so sore in my inner groin and just all the areas you get sore of doing a lot of sumo squats. And I was really happy with that work. But then the next day, the very first workout, it was a leg day and we started out with a pyramid block of five sets of sumo squats. I was damn offended. I don't know if this is like a new way of training or what, but usually I feel like it's like you work a muscle group and then you rest that mus muscle group. Maybe that's just me being a wimp. I don't know, but I remember being really 
unhappy that day. At times the full body work every single day just felt like a lot for me and I certainly felt more strong and less tired the second half of the program. The program is five days a week so thankfully we did get two rest days every single week and on the functional recovery weeks we got even more rest. Additionally I did feel like I got stronger and had more control as I was moving through some of the exercises that I had repeated throughout the program so I saw some growth there. There are many exercises that I was still modifying, some of them. I may always modify them, hello push-ups. There wasn't any kind of tracking your weights in this program and the program is so fast paced, unless you pause it, you just wouldn't have time to track your weights anyways. So you couldn't see your progress on paper like that. I, before this program, had just done a weightlifting program where we were tracking our weights and we would use that tracker to challenge ourselves to continue to lift heavier. And I kind of missed that when I was doing this program. That weightlifting program was really awesome. I really loved it. I did do a review for it and I will put a description in the link below. The program is called Lift 4. It is an at-home strength training, like straight weightlifting program. It was really awesome. It has the hit built in. Go check out that review if you want to know more about that program. Now the fourth and eighth weeks of this program were functional recovery week and I do have a video specifically on functional recovery week which again I'll link below. You can check that out if you're interested in it but I will say that I I think that there could have been more mobility and stretching work done during those recovery weeks. I just thought they were kind of meh, but I do really, really appreciate that there was even a functional recovery week. I think that that is really important and I've never seen it before and I'm glad that Beachbody slash body and just the fitness world is hopefully moving kind of more in that direction to just like stop and pause and take care of yourself and then move on. The major way I measured my progress through this program on paper was through the fit check. The fit check is something that comes with the program. It's something you do before you start, at the middle, and at the end. I'm not weighing myself. I'm not doing measurements. I don't even think I took any progress pictures. So the fit check was it, and I think that is a really great way to assess how you did through a program. So that being said, let me show you my fit check results. So these are the push-ups. So I want to see how many push-ups we can do in a minute. I went from 8 to 9 to 11. I want to see how many up-downs or burpees we can do in a minute. I went from something to 22, I think, 23 to 24. Bicep curls, you want to hit your 10 rep max. So I was going up a little bit, 15 for 8 reps, then 11, and then up to 17.5, which that was really hard for me. Uh, so I was happy to do that. The front rack squat was um, also 8 rep max. So I did 20 pounds for 10 reps, then 22 and a half, then 22 and a half again. And then we have these holds that we're going to see how long we can actually do these exercises. So we just have a regular plank and I did 64 seconds, then 72 seconds and 82 seconds. So wall sit, 50 seconds, 68 seconds and 72 seconds. So I did see some growth just a little bit. I mean, I honestly would have liked to see more, but I mean, you know, it's all about consistency and the compound effect and just little by little, right? So, you know, I, it's better than not seeing any growth. I do think it would have been better to have someone else give me the fit check as opposed to me doing it for myself, because I do think there's a little bit of like mentality there of just knowing that you don't, I don't know, you want to beat your time. And I think it's better to just not know what it was before and just bust it out. And then you can actually get a feel for how you actually did. I went into this to be as fair as possible to myself and I think I did a good job but at the same time I still think I would prefer for someone to give me the fit check just something worth noting. I will say that my excitement for this program kind of waned as I was moving through it and I've been thinking about it a lot and trying to figure out why exactly that was because I could actually see myself pulling particular workouts from this program that I really liked but I'm not really sure about the program as a whole for myself. I think some of the moves were kind of hard to follow at times and that can be frustrating. It's hard with the trainers, you know, they're trying to be innovative and come up with new moves and when they work, it's like, it really is very exciting. It's like, oh, I've never seen this one before. For someone who's been working five days a week for, oh my gosh, um, eight years now, uh, it's just, it's exciting to see new moves, but at the same time, sometimes it can happen and it's like, ooh, this is not it. This is not working. So I think some of the moves were kind of difficult and that just gets frustrating when that happens. It's a fine line because there's something to be said for sticking to the basics, but you also want to get that functional training as well as not get bored. So I will not be repeating this program. I don't know if I would ever repeat it. I do think the program is good and I think it just depends on you and what you like to do. I know people that did the program at the same time as me and absolutely loved it. And I know other people who've kind of felt the same way as I do about it. So it's just gonna be personal preference. If you want to see if it's something that you want to try out, search, sure thing, 
sample workout right here on YouTube and you should be able to find that and just try it for yourself and see what you think. So that's it for my experience with Sure Thing. Drop any comments below if you have any questions or anything to say. And if you have made it this far in the video, please do me a favor and go ahead and hit the subscribe button because I have lots of content like this that I'm putting out all the time. And if you would please hit the like button for me, I would appreciate it so much. And I hope you have a fab day.